Okay, I got to put the glasses on for this one. This is the big one, the progressive manufacturer of the year, the best picture of the year, so to speak. It's time to announce, and to help us do so, I'm pleased to invite two special guests back up to the stage. From our cornerstone partner, Mitsubishi Electric, is Kimitoshi Miniami and Matt Lopinski. And the 2007 Progressive Manufacturer of the Year, Bruce McKay from Livingston and Haven. The Progressive Manufacturer of the Year is a distinct honor. We choose this company from across all eight categories as the one company that best exemplifies progressive manufacturing. Bruce? Before we uh, relinquish the tiara, so to speak, um, I just wanted to thank Managing Automation, uh, the whole family of Managing Automation partners for not only sponsoring this event and recognizing the hard work and efforts of, of all the winners, but also for being a leading voice for advancing manufacturing, something that is near and dear to all of our hearts. And I just want to thank you very much. I'll also tell you, whoever the winner is, um, it, it looks just like an Oscar, and you've got a tuxedo on. If you take it to the bars later, people will be buying you drinks and you'll be signing autographs all night. So. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is General Dynamics, Mark Yaskovich. Let me share with you uh, why General Dynamics was recognized tonight. General Dynamics' seven-year Orion project replaced a largely manual paper-based manufacturing and quality system at the company's Scottsdale division, which makes and tests printed circuit boards and systems for space satellites. The system, based on integrated quality and MES software, resulted in a paperless shop floor and a state-of-the-art level of automation for the aerospace industry. The system includes a repository of all production-related data, which has allowed General Dynamics to do such things as access quality and testing information related to specific locations on specific circuit, uh, circuit boards in minutes rather than days. And that has allowed the plant to quickly support critical go-no-go -no -go launch decisions. Congratulations to General Dynamics. Guys, heavy. Uh, yeah, General Dynamics. Uh, we definitely want to say thank you to Managing Automation and the judges that uh, took the time to evaluate our our nomination and uh, see that we are, are progressive. Uh, basically, this was a journey, a journey over eight, nine years, uh, starting with a, a small implementation, and then each year adding more and more and more capability. And as uh, was announced in the in the summary, we uh, we take it to heart. We are doing a full paperless environment now. Tremendous amounts of data that go into a space hardware. We are a space manufacturer all the way from printed circuit boards up to payloads and, and now satellites. Uh, very, very highly controlled critical processes. Uh, if you know about the NASA, um, the, we just launched a satellite yesterday. Uh, the rovers on Mars, actually the uh, the one of Phoenix that's on there currently, those are all communication modules that came out of our factory. So very, very strong uh, legacy, proud heritage. Um, but with this implementation, it, it added all those additional capabilities. And I also would like to thank uh, iBase-T, the vendor, uh, supplier, our partner, actually. Uh, back in 99, when we first went with iBase-T, their product was, uh, was in the early stages, we, uh, but we, we stuck with it. 
we work with them. We drove a lot of the capabilities into the product, and they now have a product that uh, is niched into the complex manufacturing, which there really isn't anything else out there. So again, I'd like to thank iBase-T for all their support over the years. Uh, we look forward to continuing our journey and uh, even make more capabilities possible. Well, thank you.